hey readers, I'm Laurie, girl who books built. Let's talk facts in honor of nonfiction November. Well, my typical reading diet is really fiction heavy, but a generous side of informational text can really help me digest all those narratives. The prompts detailed for 2019's nonfiction November by Olive at a book Olive sound really promising. This is how I plan to meet the challenges. Prompt number one, design. With October's spooky pages turning in real time, my first thought is the design of the modern Prometheus in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. It's the current title of the Great American Read Book Club at my local library. By reading Mary, who wrote Frankenstein by Linda Bailey and illustrated by Julia Sarda, I'll read more about the genius who met her husband's challenge to write the best ghost story. Prompt number two, sports. I'll sit this one out, but I'll be a good sport and cheer on everyone else from the comment section of the bleachers. Prompt number three, true. I'm back in the nonfiction game with Tracy Sepp's Furious Hours, Murder, Fraud, and the Last Trial of Harper Lee. This true crime story is the tale of how an Alabama serial killer caught the attention of Harper Lee in the 1970s. This title is inspired by the Great American Reads Book Club last month's pick, which was the perennial favorite To Kill a Mockingbird. I really enjoy reading books about other books that I'm reading all at the same time. This can create a little web of information and intricacy all focused on a particular author or title or subject. This really informs my understanding, even if it sometimes triggers an OCD tumble down the rabbit hole. Prompt number four, voice. I am instantly reminded of the great voice talent, George Guidel. He has recorded a staggering 1700 unabridged novels. I did some research and found a few nonfiction titles he's recorded as well. While a high school student, I popped many a recorded books tape in the deck of my 1984 Honda Civic. I listened to the velvety texture Goodell brings to a recorded book, and then before I could continue the story, I'd have to forcibly eject the cassette tape with a trusty nail file. In honor of Guadel, I'm going to audio read Tracy Kids Amongst School Children. Hopefully, the velvety texture of his voice can smooth the roughness of this 1989 look into a Massachusetts classroom. To recap, I'll meet three of the four challenges for 2019's Nonfiction November. Stay tuned for individual videos featuring my reflections on each title. Bye.